Here we have a very woke Lutheran minister that claims that it's the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to be anti-woke and to disagree with all of her woke ideology and politics. And this preacher also calls the Holy Spirit a uh, she. Let's give it a listen. You see, when the authorities accuse Jesus of acting on behalf of Satan, everything that is righteous and of God is thereby misidentified and maligned by people who publicly identify as followers of God. Which means, thereby, God is being misidentified and maligned by people who publicly identify with God. In short, God's and, God and God's works are being equated with evil. This is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, and I am here to say that she does not abide such insults. The story from thousands of years ago, though, notwithstanding in our day and age, we are increasingly faced with people who similarly speak in the name of Jesus and utter similar words of blasphemy, endorsing ideas and movements and laws and people who do not in the least represent God or God's ways. Their words and actions do tremendous damage to God's creatures, God's creation, and to people's understanding of the ways of God. And the collateral damage to God's intentions for God's people and this earth is catastrophic. Jesus, Christians believe, reveals God's agenda, God's vision for this world. And it is indeed one of wild and radical love, of inclusivity of that which and whom is otherwise marginalized and broken, of honor for the least, the lost, the last, and the losers. And wherever you see the opposite of that, the sowing of hate, exclusive claims based on narrow-mindedness and privilege, the building of borders rather than bridges, the extolling of authoritarianism rather than the concern for the subjugated and the oppressed, unalloyed hubris and the wielding of fear and retribution rather than the stewarding of grace and restoration, and any of it done in the name of God, well... This woke politics, ideology, and theology are not new. I remember hearing garbage like this 30 years ago when I was a teenager in the United Church of Canada here in Ontario, Canada. Well, let's talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Holy Trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three distinct persons, yet God is one, the Trinity. But the Holy Spirit is never called a she. This is a liberal, feminist theology done without the Word of God and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit teaching them in the Word of God. In the Bible, the Holy Spirit is called He. We can just look at one verse. John 16, verse 8. When He, that's the Holy Spirit, comes, He will convict the world of sin. It's blasphemy to call the Holy Spirit a she because the Holy Spirit is never called a she in the Bible. Now on to the topic of the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. The Lutheran preacher says that if you deny all these woke ideals, this woke theology, these woke politics, then you are committing the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which in the Bible is an unforgivable sin. Well, this teaching of the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 22 to 30. And the context is, in Mark 4, verse 22, the scribes are accusing Jesus of being possessed by Beelzebub, by Satan. And by the prince of demons, they're claiming that Jesus is casting out demons. And Jesus exposes the lie of such a statement. How can a kingdom survive being divided against itself? And then Jesus says that if you're speaking blasphemies against the Holy Spirit, that you will have no forgiveness. This is verses 28, 29, and 30 of Mark 4. The blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is what we often call the unforgivable sin. Well, what is this sin? In the context, it's calling Jesus, his works, and his teachings, 
satanic. Jesus' teachings, though, are the exact opposite of this Lutheran preacher's teachings. And later on in this sermon, she tells the congregation, not what Jesus says, to deny yourself, to forsake your sin. She says, love yourself. And to even love our own selves in the radical, eccentric, grace-filled ways of God. Love yourself. That's what you say to the congregation. That is a wicked teaching. And when you call Jesus satanic and his word, then you've committed a blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. It's really the point of no return, where you hate Christ so much that you think he's evil and satanic. Many of these churches who have gone woke hate and consider Jesus, the historic Jesus, to be evil. Not the Jesus that they've created in their own minds. The historic biblical Jesus many of these woke churches hate. Isn't it interesting that this preacher says unless you embrace her woke politics, then you're out. You're doomed. They're inclusive, they say, but unless you agree with our woke ideology, you are doomed. You're destined to never be forgiven. But Jesus never focused on these woke crazy ideas. He focused on his glory. He focused on his death, his sacrifice for sin, his resurrection. Jesus Christ came to deal with our sin by going to the cross. And he calls us to deny ourselves and follow him. Thanks for watching and God bless.